Guardians of the Sky. An introduction to Sam's. In the vast expanse above us, a silent battle is waged daily, a battle for air superiority. Protecting our skies from aerial threats are surface-to-air missiles, or SAMs as they are commonly known. These marvels of engineering are a testament to human ingenuity, designed to detect, track, and neutralize airborne targets that threaten our safety and security. But how do these guardians of the sky actually work? How do they differentiate friend from foe and execute such complex maneuvers with lethal precision? Let's delve into the fascinating world of SAMs and uncover the secrets behind their operation. SAMs, in essence, are rockets equipped with sophisticated technology that allows them to engage and destroy aircraft or other missiles in flight. They are a crucial component of any nation's air defense system, providing a protective umbrella against a wide range of aerial threats. From the earliest versions developed during World War II to the advanced hypersonic missiles of today, SAMs have evolved significantly in terms of their capabilities and sophistication. However, the fundamental principles governing their operation remain largely the same. Eyes in the Sky The Radar System – A Game of Radio Waves at the heart of every effective SAM system lies its radar, the unsleeping eye that scans the skies for potential threats. Radar, short for radio detection and ranging, works by emitting electromagnetic waves and analyzing the echoes that bounce back from objects in their path. Imagine a bat using echolocation to navigate and hunt in the dark. Similarly, a SAM's radar sends out radio waves that travel at the speed of light. When these waves encounter an object, such as an aircraft, they are reflected back to the radar. By measuring the time it takes for the reflected waves to return, the radar system can determine the distance, speed, and direction of the target. This information is then fed to the SAM's guidance system, allowing it to track the target's movement with remarkable accuracy. Modern radar systems are incredibly sophisticated, capable of distinguishing between different types of aircraft, filtering out clutter from the environment, and even predicting a target's future trajectory. They are the silent sentinels that provide the initial warning of an impending aerial threat, giving the SAM system precious time to react and engage. Guiding the Guardian Command and Homing Guidance Systems Once a target has been detected and tracked by the radar system, the next crucial step is to guide the SAM towards it. This is where guidance systems come into play, acting as the brains of the operation, steering the missile with pinpoint accuracy. There are two main types of guidance systems used in SAM's Command Guidance and Homing Guidance. Command Guidance relies on a ground-based tracking system that continuously monitors both the target and the missile's position. As the missile travels towards its target, the ground station sends commands to the missile, adjusting its course to ensure a successful interception. Think of it like a puppeteer pulling the strings, guiding the missile along its designated path. Homing Guidance, on the other hand, gives the missile a degree of autonomy. Homing missiles have their own onboard sensors, such as radar or infrared seekers, that allow them to detect and home in on the target's energy emissions. These missiles, once launched, can guide themselves towards the target, adjusting their trajectory based on the information received from their sensors. This makes them particularly effective against maneuvering targets, as they can adapt to changes in the target's flight path. The Heart of the Hunter Propulsion Systems in SAMs Now that we understand how SAMs detect and track their targets, let's turn our attention to the heart of these aerial hunters, their propulsion systems. These systems are responsible for providing the immense thrust required to propel the missile towards its target at supersonic speeds. SAMs utilize a variety of propulsion systems, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Solid propellant rockets are commonly used as they are relatively simple, reliable, and offer high thrust-to-weight ratios. 
These rockets work by burning a solid mixture of fuel and oxidizer, generating hot gas that is expelled through a nozzle, propelling the missile forward. However, once ignited, solid propellant rockets burn continuously until all the fuel is consumed, limiting the missile's range and maneuverability. For longer range engagements and increased maneuverability, some SAMs employ liquid propellant rockets or ramjets. Liquid propellant rockets offer higher specific impulse, meaning they are more fuel efficient, allowing for longer ranges. Ramjets, on the other hand, are air-breathing engines that become highly efficient at supersonic speeds. They work by compressing incoming air, mixing it with fuel, and igniting the mixture to produce thrust. These advanced propulsion systems provide SAMs with the speed and agility needed to intercept even the most elusive targets.